Good morning and welcome to Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over the Hennessy Hammock and it's the Explorer ASIM Zip. I'm going to be setting it up and while I'm setting it up throughout the video we're going to be talking about this is our five year review of both this hammock and I've got the safari hammock. I'm a little bit bigger you guys have noticed that even though I've been working out I'm not quite that slim but uh, Angie's got the smaller. This is basically the smaller version. It's also for full size men as well up to seven feet tall. I just got the bigger one because I you know me I carry too much junk with me even when I'm sleeping so we're going to go ahead and start setting this up and we'll bring you a five year review. This is the Hennessy Hammock Explorer and we have used these hammocks in Colorado. We have used them all over Oklahoma. We've used them in Tennessee and this is by far the most absolute best night's sleep anyone could ever hope for. The hardest part, honestly, about getting out of this hammock, about this hammock is to get out of it. And I don't mean physically, I mean mentally, because it's like a little cocoon. It's like the safest, most comfortable place ever. We have camped in 100 degree weather, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that, but we still had fun. But we have camped in literally below freezing weather on more than one occasion. And I, myself, I have never, ever once been cold in this hammock, not one time. Of course, I also have the extra um, underbelly that Dale made for me so and you've got you've got the there's an insulation system for this hammock and there this is. outer part of this hammock right here guys is the basically the underbelly that Hennessy hammock makes and it's good I, I leave it with the hammock yeah. that way it just makes it easier for setup but there's also an insulated piece we've got the older version of the hammocks ours have just have the single bottom not the double bottoms like they're making nowadays but uh Again, with the with the insulated, it's got a full insulated system that we we're not going to set all that up today. We didn't even bring it because it's not no, going to be that hard. cold tonight. But yeah. uh, this is the underbelly, and she's got the full insulated system that's made for this. That's one of the downsides okay. to the Safari hammock is they don't actually make all the insulated stuff for the Safari brand. They didn't then. They I, still don't. Because um, I've I've sent I'm him sorry. a message. Because well, mine's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's awesome. It's got everything. <laughs> Does that look about halfway, honey? Uh, looks good to me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start tying it up, and then we'll get your tarp set up here in a little bit. Thank you, love. Normally, I set this up myself, but for video purposes, Dale's doing it this time. But I mean, it's it is truly really easy to set up because normally I would be over there doing it and it takes uh, well Dale's faster than I am at pretty much everything but it doesn't even take me that long it's just that simple and I love it and we are as you know we would rather be outside outdoors doing something and these hammocks are absolutely wonderful we uh, as a matter of fact um, more than once we have taken the camper to wherever we were going to camp and then set up the hammocks and slept in the hammocks and then like cooked and cooked out of the camper and changed clothes or such but we slept in the hammocks and we've done it like I said in below freezing weather and we've done it in the summertime so it's a it's a wonderful night's sleep and I uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but a couple of years ago, I had uh, back surgery. And so I have uh, new, uh, nice, shiny metal pieces up and down my spine. So it's kind of hard to find something 
comfortable for me to lay on and actually get some rest just because that's just what happens when you get old and this hammock is my dream come true because it's truly a restful night's sleep and it's just uh, I love the, and the mosquito net um, awesome sauce I love the mosquito net it's also got the little pockets for whatever you may have your phone um, a little flashlight there's a carabiner we have carabiners in there on the there's, line yeah there's a deal on the pockets for the we flashlight a yep. flashlight but this is your line that goes across the top it's called a ridge line ridge line yeah. And that should be just about perfect for me. Your legs so. are bent, but mine won't be. Yeah, I, I think it'll work for you, honey. Thank you, honey. You rock. And yeah, best part about any trip is that hammock right there. It's a thing of beauty. And as far as like this trip, we're not going to have to worry about rain or cold, either one. Um, however, the mosquitoes are still out and the bugs are still out, so that and this zip is up the top is awesome. Monsoon tarp that comes. It's a it's an additional item that you can purchase, but it's the uh, really really weatherproof. And we're just gonna kind of lump them in together and kind of show you both. But the uh, bug net deal that I was, or the actual pockets that go up here on your ridge line, they come standard in all the Hennessy hammocks. Both. Angie's and mine is the single layer bottom. Hennessy Hammock has since they've come out with a two layer hammock and in fact I was telling Frank Woodsman about these these hammocks and how good they are and you know a, a lot of times guys will look at, a, at the price of something and they're going to say man that's expensive but let, let me give you an example. This hammock here is roughly $250 plus or minus a couple of bucks depending on where you buy it at. You can buy it from Hennessy or you can buy it from Amazon. You can also find them on eBay brand new as well. But plus or minus, let's just say it's $250. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, man, that seems like a lot of money for a hammock. But here's the deal. That includes your rope to tie it to the tree. It includes your tree straps. It also includes the bug net, your hammock itself, and then the tarp. And what I did is I ordered these straight from Hennessy Hammock and I ordered the oversized tarp for mine. For you guys that are backpacking, you're probably gonna to wanna to stick with the smaller stuff. I'm a moto camper and a hammock camper. I don't do a whole lot of backpacking. We have done a little bit here and there throughout the years, but most of them are more day trips and photography related that me and Angie have gone on. And But, but again, guys, like I'm saying, I mean, it comes with everything that you need to go camping when you let's just use Eno for example an Eno hammock $69.79 depending on if you're looking at the double or the single and then you got to buy the bug net then you got to buy the tarp by the time you do all that and buy the tree the tree straps you're right in there about the same amount of money and I, I know from looking online and, and actually I, I, we do have the Eno hammocks you're not going to get this nice tight seal and look at this guys and this is part of what I'm talking about these zippers come down and zip up all the way around so that you have a good tight seal there's no bugs there's no spiders there's no nothing coming through these zippers the zippers are heavy duty middle of the night you need to get out you can undo it it's not like some of your old cheap sleeping bags that you remember when you was a kid you'd go to undo the zipper and then you got to fight your way out of the sleeping bag it's not like that these are good quality zippers again this is a single layer if you guys live in an area where you have lots of mosquitoes like we do you're going to have to bring you a pad because the mosquitoes can bite through the bottom and get you still but we normally camp when it's cooler so the camping when it's cooler is not really a problem for us again uh, overall I can tell you we're a hundred percent happy with these hammocks we've been using them for over five seasons we've been to Colorado we've camped out in the woods for as much as two weeks at a time we've camped out at, at our deer lease when we go deer hunting at a week and a half at a time a week at a time we've 
camped all over Oklahoma, everywhere from waking up with sleet on top of our tarps to uh, sleeping just like last night with this, this tarp completely open just so I could get a breeze and stay cool. Um, again, these, these hammocks are big enough. You can use the little clips like I was talking about. Shove your tennis shoes or your boots or whatever. Keep everything right inside and it just makes for a great place to uh, call home. Call when, home. And it's, uh, I'm gonna hit on a few keynotes real quick for you guys that have back problems. There's probably not a better way to sleep when you're talking about camping out in the woods uh, and and I was skeptical about it when I heard about it. They say if you if you got back problems sleep in a hammock it, It'll save your back. It'll help you out immensely and uh, Nothing's been truer than that Angie as you guys know she's got scoliosis She's had some back issues and and honestly we guys we've uh, We went ahead and built uh, hammock stands Look for that video if you haven't seen it yet, but we've built hammock stands at home just so that she can get out in her hammock and sleep a couple of days during the week because it does, it helps stretch out her back, it helps line her spine back up, and it's fun. And, uh, and it's fun. If you guys like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know anybody interested in purchasing a Hemacy hammock, please share our video with them again. We don't get a whole lot, but if you'll click the links down below, you can buy from Amazon. And each time you buy from Amazon, you're kind of giving back to our channel. And that helps us make more videos. We'll be bringing you some more as it gets colder. We're not going to set it all up today. But again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. And may you have a blessed week.